Hello student, in this session we will discuss direct and bending stresses in a chimney. In previous sessions we discussed direct and bending stresses in a structure such as column, dam and retaining wall. Now in this session we will discuss direct and bending stresses in a chimney. So first of all we start with the step that we need to follow to calculate maximum and minimum stresses at the base of the chimney and then we will solve a numerical. So let's start this session by discussing maximum and minimum stresses at the base of the chimney. And for calculating maximum and minimum stresses at base of the chimney, we need to follow total five steps. So let's start with step number one. In step number one, we need to calculate sigma zero. And we know that sigma zero is the direct stress. Now, let rho is the unit weight of the chimney material. Then, rho is equal to total weight upon volume. Total weight is W and volume is V. So, we can say that W is equal to rho into V. Now, V is the volume which is equal to area into height. So, we are getting W is equal to rho into AH. Now, sigma 0 means direct stress is equal to W upon A. Here W is equal to rho AH upon A. So I am getting sigma 0 is equal to rho into H. Here is the equation of sigma 0 which we will use to calculate our numerical. Now let's move to step number 2. In step number 2 we will calculate total wind pressure. Now, in our previous sessions, we discussed structures such as dam and retaining wall. So, the dam structures as it supports water behind that, that's why they are subjected to water pressure. Similarly, retaining wall is subjected to soil pressure because it supports soil behind. Similarly, in the case of chimney, chimney is always subjected to wind pressure. So, here in step number 2, we will calculate total wind pressure P and it is equal to C into small p into D into H for the circular chimney section, okay, where C is equal to coefficient of wind resistance. Small p is uniform wind pressure, D is diameter of the chimney and H is height of the chimney. And for the rectangular chimney section, total P is equal to P into BH. Okay. Now, let's move to step number 3. In step number 3, we will calculate moment as at the base, which is capital M. So, moment developed at the base of the chimney due to force or wind pressure is equal to P into H by 2. Now, in step number 4, we will calculate bending stress sigma b. And we know that bending stress is equal to m upon z, where m is the moment and z is section modulus. And in last step, which is step number 5, we will calculate sigma maximum and sigma minimum. And here are the equations to calculate sigma maximum and sigma minimum. So, sigma maximum is equal to sigma 0 plus sigma b and sigma minimum is equal to sigma 0 minus sigma b. So, these are the steps that we need to follow to calculate maximum and minimum stresses at the base of the chimney. So, let's solve a numerical. Here, a cylindrical chimney 25 meter high of uniform circular section is 5 meter external diameter and 2 meter internal diameter. Okay, so there is a circular chimney section. Total height means H of this chimney is 25 meter and external diameter is 5 meter. Okay, which is given and internal diameter is 2 meter. Now, it is subjected to horizontal wind pressure of 1400 Newton per meter square. So, here the given pressure small p is 1400 Newton per meter square. So, I am converting it into kilo Newton per meter square. So, I am getting 1.4. If the coefficient of wind pressure is 0.6 means value of C is 0.6 
and the unit weight of masonry is 22 kilonewton per meter cube. It means value of rho is given 22 kilonewton per meter cube. Find maximum and minimum stresses at the base of the section. Means here we need to calculate sigma maximum and sigma minimum. So let's start with step number one. In step number one, as we discussed, we will calculate sigma zero, which is direct stress. And here is the equation to calculate sigma zero. Sigma zero is equal to rho into h, rho which is given 22 and h is the height of the chimney which is 25. So I am getting rho zero is equal to 550 kilonewton per meter square. Now in step number two we will calculate total wind pressure on chimney which is p and capital P is equal to c into small p into d into h okay so value of c which is given 0.6 small p is 1.4 kilonewton per meter square diameter of the chimney here we will consider external diameter which is 5 and height of the chimney is 25 i am getting total wind pressure for which the chimney is to be designed uh, is 105 kilonewton so, I am getting total water pressure for which the chimney is to be subjected is 105 kilonewton. Now, let's move to step number 3. In step number 3, we will calculate moment at base which is M. And here is the equation to calculate moment which is equal to P into H by 2. Value of P as we calculated it is 105. Height of the chimney is 25. So I am getting moment at base of the chimney as 1312.5 kilonewton into meter. Now let's move to step number 4. In step number 4 we will calculate bending stress sigma B. And equation to calculate bending stress is M upon Z. M we already calculate but first of all we need to calculate Z which is section modulus and for circular section Z is equal to pi by 32 into d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 upon d. Now value of capital D is 5 and value of small d is 2 that's why I'm getting Z is equal to 11.96 meter cube. I am putting value of Z in equation of sigma B. So, I am getting sigma B is equal to 109.74 kilonewton per meter square. Now, let us move to last step of our numerical. Here, we will calculate sigma maximum and sigma minimum. Okay. So, sigma maximum is equal to sigma 0 plus sigma B. Sigma 0 we calculated 550 and sigma B 109.74. So, I am getting sigma maximum is equal to 659.74 kilonewton per meter square. Here I am getting positive value. It means sigma maximum is compressive in a nature. Now, let us calculate sigma minimum. Sigma minimum is sigma 0 minus sigma b. Sigma 0 is 550 and sigma b is 109.74. So, I am getting sigma minimum is equal to 440.26 kilonewton per meter square. Again, I am getting positive value which indicates sigma minimum is compressive in a nature. So, this is end of the session. Thank you.